The rates of lower back pain in gymnastics are terrifying, and even scarier than the rates are the negative impacts that it has on health, performance, quality of life, you know, longevity in the sport itself. And it makes sense, gymnastics is one of the hardest sports in the world. It has extremely high forces, high repetitions of skills, and most of the times the people that are involved in gymnastics are young kids who are not quite fully mature, and they have to train year round to get these high level skills. And so from a medical provider point of view, this is extremely daunting to try to tackle. Uh, I know exactly what people are going through as a younger clinician, um, I felt super frustrated, I felt super overwhelmed, I didn't know how to help these athletes when they came to me, and this was despite being someone who had low back pain as a gymnast, I almost quit because of it, um, and also someone who has been coaching for many years, I was super passionate about trying to help gymnasts when I first got out of grad school, and you know, I tried so hard to take courses and read books and, and take from other fields, and even though I was trying super hard to help these athletes, what I found is that even though it was well-intentioned, I always came up short. People were still having pain, they still struggled to get back into the gym, they still had long-term issues, and even though I was doing the best that I could, gymnasts were still quitting. They were still deciding that it was too hard, they were worried about what was the long-term health consequences for them, and so, you know, that was really hard for me as a clinician because I felt like I should be the person who really knew how to help and, and understand what they're going through, and I still couldn't get anywhere. And so, um, I think it all really came to a head to me when I was coaching and I was treating at the same time right out of grad school, and one of the optional gymnasts that I had coached, um, I, I remember vividly to this day she called me and she was just in tears she was saying that she had recently had to go to the doctor because she woke up she had really bad back pain her leg started to hurt she was having traveling pain down one leg and she got an MRI and she got diagnosed with a, a bilateral stress fracture a spondylolisthesis and you know she was really having a tough time it wasn't even about gymnastics she couldn't drive she couldn't sit in school and so her parents and her collectively made the decision that they were so nervous about her long-term health that she decided to stop training in gymnastics and for her that meant giving up a lifelong dream of competing in college and you know I was coaching her and I was treating her and I was crushed I felt terrible I was like I'm the person who should have the answers for you and I'm not able to help you and so now you're gonna kind of lose out on this dream that you had your whole life and so after that moment and you know after really reflecting about what was going through you know the medical system for me but also seeing so many other gymnasts that I was working with still have back pain and not be able to get back to training and quitting you know it really just it hit home for me and I decided that it was officially time to start building something new that's what I came to realize we can't use the other systems that are available because gymnastics is so unique. We need an evidence-based, gymnastics-specific, highly practical system that we can use for step-by-step -step rehab that's going to help these athletes get back to the sport that they love and it's going to really give a step-by-step -step plan. So I took all the frustration that I had, quadrupled down on more books and more courses and, and talking with mentors, not only from the outside medical world, but gymnastics coaches, people who had, had seen this every single day, what they were thinking, was able to have mentors who helped me um, kind of understand what was going on from other professional or Olympic level sports and I started to just build new ideas. I started to think about okay what are gymnastic specific evaluations for testing? How about gymnastic specific um, treatment and algorithms to get back and then what are gymnastic specific evidence-based return to sport concepts that are now relevant in the medical literature that we can use to build something new? And slowly but surely it started to work. After treating a lot of gymnasts with these new ideas, tinkering around with the different protocols and trying to talk with doctors and friends of mine that were strength and conditioning coaches, it finally started to come together. And this was really cool for me to see because after so many hours and years of trying to help these athletes, it was finally starting to show that they had less pain, they were able to get back to gymnastics despite many other medical interventions being tried. Um, a lot of them decided they, they could modify skills and do something different, they didn't want to have to quit anymore. And a lot of athletes were getting performance increases because we were cleaning up some of the issues related to their shoulders or hips or core that were holding them back a little bit for performance wise. So, you know, coaches were happier, obviously I was happier as a medical provider and again, this all came full circle, came to a head where one of the athletes that I was coaching who was competing in college, she had a very big flare-up of back pain to the point where she was like couldn't even train. She was having a really tough time getting around campus, you know, things like that. And uh, you know, we were able to use the system that we had created, you know, teamwork approach from her coaches, her medical providers, me and her, and we put her through this step-by-step -step algorithm that we had for testing and for examination through the rehab process and built a very specific return to sport protocol. And it worked. She was able to get out of pain and she ended up having a really great end of her career. She was able to compete in her senior meet. She was super happy that she could spend time with her team at the end and have a really good you know check all the boxes kind of uh, approach to her college career and so for me as a clinician you know as a medical provider but also as a coach that was one of the highlights of my career was feeling confident in the way to treat her understanding the the issues that she had and having a step-by-step -step process for evaluating treating and then giving a return to sport program so you know, I want all medical providers to have that same feeling that I had. I want them to feel confident in the clinic when working with gymnasts. I want them to understand what's going on with gymnasts so that they can help them get, you know, the proper rehab, pro 
protocols based on the evaluation, but then also a successful return to sport plan, you know, with the right types of modifications or changes they need to talk to coaches. And so I think the most important thing here is that people are going to understand by having them in one step process to read and watch and listen and things like that, they're going to have all the tools that I have. They're going to have the exact system that I have. They're going to have the exact protocols, the exact case studies, the exact resources, the references, the evidence-based concepts that I was able to use to build these uh, programs for these gymnasts. And so that's really why I made recent advances in evaluation and treatment of back pain. I want people to have a one-stop shop for all of the things that they're going to need to help a gymnast. And so what they're going to get is they're going to get five modules. They're going to get introduction, the assessment stuff that I use for global assessments and spinal assessments. They're also going to get the exact exercises I use, how I build return to sport programs, how we use the strength conditioning facility to kind of build even a higher level of performance. And I'm lucky that by now, you know, I've probably treated over 500 people for these issues related to gymnastics injuries, and they've seemed to be really successful. And so I don't want to hold this information back. I want people to not have to spend thousands of dollars on courses or weekends away. You know, I want them to be able to just do it right from their couch whenever it fits their schedule, which is why we have this online format. And my hope is that by having this all in a system that they can use to reference all the time, that they're going to help gymnasts get out of pain faster, return back to the sport that they love, and have longer, healthier careers, and not be limited by back pain.